Colburn. Suzanne Umbach. George Knoll. Sean Harley. Derek Jones. Lisa Mullaney. Pledge allegiance. <clears throat> Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now, well, minutes to 7 3 2019 regular session. Petition the motion to pass the minutes from the uh, June 19th meeting. 7 3, sorry. Second. Any other discussion? No. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. And I'd rather so I'll prove myself that he signed. Any citizens input over here? If not, any other old business? Okay, we move on to ordinance 2019-9. An ordinance approving the transfer of real property. Gary, of course, let you talk. Yep, I'll pick this up. Um, guys, what this does is uh, it's two things. One, um, <clears throat> because of the short time period that we had to get this meeting put together, uh, we're declaring that there is an emergency that exists pursuant to Indiana Code uh, 30, I'm sorry, 514, 1.5-5. And this is also a situation that because we're transferring this real estate from Washington County Economic Development Corporation, it's a 501c uh, corporation. It's an exempt transaction uh, regarding the the statutes that deal with all the public notices, public hearings, uh, so we can proceed in that fashion. But we do have to have this ordinance if we're operating under it's called home rule, um, and that's the reason for the preparation of the ordinance. Now, what the ordinance does it basically allows for the town to convey its lots one and three of the uh, Argus Manufacturing Center minor subdivision, and also provides authorization for uh, the town to execute any and all other necessary documents like sales disclosures, uh, anything else that would be required to effectuate the transfer of that real estate. That's all this does. It's nothing to do with any of the other uh, documents or agreements that were sent to you yesterday via email. This is strictly about the conveyance of the real estate. I have a motion to suspend the rules and accept the ordinance or pass ordinance 2019 9 in all three readings. I move to suspend the rules and pass ordinance 2019 9 on all three readings. Second. Is there any other discussion on this? One thing I want to point out is that there's been talk, discussion about any kind of an easement for a road. Uh, we've not been able to find any easement that's ever been recorded. Uh, so I'm just letting everybody know that this is basically all of the frontage along Dewey Street, 17th Street, however you want to call that, 17th Road, I'm sorry. Um, there, there is no easement other than the easements that currently exist for the, the county drain. Um, so that's how this is. Once this is conveyed away, we don't get to claim back or claw back any kind of an easement or anything like that. Just letting you know. Um, that's how it's set up. Everybody okay with that? Will that affect our utilities any, Gary? Well, there may be a utility easement that doesn't appear on any of the plats and drawings that, that I have or that I've ever seen. Um, but I'm sure that if we're building on one of those lots or any or all of those lots, once utilities, they're going to be happy to grant that easement. But the road's going to be a different story because they're not going to really have any benefit or use for that road unless there's a spur that would serve them. Okay. Is that gonna, will that affect us, um, pardon me, will that affect uh, anything to do with possibly having to widen that road in the future or possibly having to put a rail spur in at any time? Will that affect the town on that easement side? Or We've already got the, the width of the road taken care of when they set the utility lines up for this time. The only thing is just not gonna, you're not going to be able to get in from 
Dewey Street to the rest of the to the back forty, the back forty. You have to come in. You have to come in from the Wells Kennel, mm -hmm. which is going off of Michigan, which was kind of the plan anyway. They just trying to come in off of there. So, any other discussion? No. Not all in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed. Motion carried. Quick claim deed and sales disclosure waiver. Basically, that ordinance then allows for execution of that quick claim deed, and it's actually the purchaser that gets to sign the sales disclosure. So, glad you did that. Save me a trip in the morning. <laughs> Make a motion to uh, pass the quick claim deed. I'll second that. That's written. I'll second that. Motion to second. Is there any other questions on the quick claim deed? Do you no, I really don't. It's really authorized by the ordinance itself. So, just want to make sure everybody votes on it. All in favor? So if I'm saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Soil mining and. I didn't have vacation agreement. Yeah, that. Um, <laughs> this is basically this agreement, and I did prepare a resolution. I didn't send it to you, just I'm sorry, but I've got a resolution that just authorizes the approval and adoption of that soil mining and indemnification agreement. And basically, what it's saying is that regarding that 42 acres that's south of lots one, two, and three, that there's going to be some moving of some dirt there's apparently a hill on the west side that they want to be able to remove the topsoil scrape and, and get some good dirt and put it on the side on whether it's lot one or three i don't know but <clears throat> combination of two and one combination maybe of both but that's going to permit that to occur um, and that's the extent of that agreement Basically, Jerry, they're, they're moving that retention pond too. Is that part of that, or no? That isn't part of that. Oh. And, and, and as you recall, um, there is some um, uh, some peat on the uh, what I would call the north or the uh, western, western edge of lot two and the west, western edge of lot one. Okay. That's pre deep, so they right. got, you can't build on peat. You got to right. take it out. So, so actually what your action does, it allows for that building to be expanded all the way up to 300,000 square Right, because it can't be without, without that soil. Right. Okay. So you're actually prepping for the future. Well, I'll make a motion to accept the soil mining and identification <laughs> agreement. Second. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Is there any other discussion on that? And there's a resolution again that <coughs> goes along with that. I'm sorry for not getting out of sense either. Motion carried. What resolution will that be? 2019 10? Or? It's either 9 or 10. But I, do I would rather look it up before okay. you. Last one we just passed was nine. That's the ordinance. That was the ordinance. ordinance. Sorry, resolution. Yeah, my fault. My fault. Okay, if there's no other discussion, uh, let's go ahead and pass this agreement. I have a resolution, I guess, at the same time. If you want to. If there's any other discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. And then we have the agreement, the Argus Manufacturing Center Development Agreement. And actually, in conversations with, with Jeff and Adam Lucanville represents, he's an attorney in by the way, he represents the purchaser here. Um, it, was, it was discussed that it would, I guess ideally, that they wanted to have a meeting with the purchaser, MCGC, and the town before we have to formally approve that agreement. So it's not something that they're requiring to be done. To enable them to have their closing, which is scheduled for tomorrow at 1, 1 30, something like that. So, if you've got questions about that, we can get into that, but it's not something that has to be approved 
at this evening's meeting to allow them to have their closing. And if I could add to that, uh, to, I talked to Derek today, I've talked to Adam Blumenville, I've talked to all of you in different meetings. Um, we don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves. We don't want to, because this timeline has been kind of rushed to meet certain deadlines, we want to make sure that we're only doing what we have to do at this point and go through the, the rest of the motions on that agreement. So we can just hold off on that. So we'd rather come back to you at, at a later date and have that discussion. And, and if I could, probably we could huddle up an executive committee early next week. Either I'm going to try to pick a date so we can come together at this table. Well, we have budget hearings that are next week's <laughs> a pretty day. busy week. Yeah. Yeah. Budget meetings start on Monday night. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yeah. What time does it start? Six. 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 Maybe at eight. I don't know. That's. I'm sure we can do it. But there's, but there's, uh, there's a heightened interest to for the purchaser to come to the table, get a chance to answer questions. If we know only wants Monday or Tuesday, mm -hmm. let us know so we she can advertise it by Thursday. Okay. And we'll do it late. Okay. All right. Uh, And the last thing I'll say is I want to uh, thank all the council for their uh, expedient approach to moving this effort forward. I also want to thank Garrett for coming off a vacation and, and jumping in with both, both feet and making things happen. Uh, apologize for the the timing of this, it, it could have been, um, they never worked in your favor. You always have to meet uh, certain things to occur, but I think at the end of the day, this will be very, very good. Yeah, I'm yeah. waiting on a taxi to the plane and he called me yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we appreciate it. <laughs> send out claims for this meeting? Or? I did not, sorry. Okay. We can just set, leave them go until the next meeting? Uh, I didn't actually do claims. I, I guess used it was an just old like, agenda. That's the old one. That's the old You already approved those claims. <laughs> <laughs> do we have everything in order now for everything to go smoothly tomorrow? We are, as Derek mentioned, I actually said to close at one group. Are you going to be there for that or not? No. Okay. We're ahead on paying our interest. Do we need that back? Uh, I'm not sure. We'll ask. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, Pam is the record keeper on that, so she has a spreadsheet. I think that there's a little bit. I'm not quite sure. Um, uh, we will give you an accounting of that. Is it on? Are we mining in your email? Sorry. That's a good solution. I think that there's, yeah, there's a mix. There are some bills out there too, and so we'll give you a full account. Fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> we'll give you a full account so you can see where all the dollars are spent. That's right. Well, and what's owed? <laughs> what's owed? <laughs> since Jamie is here tonight, we do understand. George? Excuse me, since Jamie's here tonight, is there anything you think he needs to Anything you need? If he has anything to say about any of this, I welcome it. He's happy he worked on all electric forest rates and all a few other people. He's put in a lot of time. And so is Mark Vanderbilt. I, I think it's important to recognize the contribution that they made to this effort in terms of negotiating, as well as Suzanne O'Malley, your MCDC representative, Mark. So that's basically the negotiating team. As long as that building's full, we have what he's for, right? <laughs> get well, we <laughs> get it done in less than a year. So that's good. Oh, you're going to be happy, George. Oh, yeah. <laughs>
<clears throat> for some reason, I'll talk about that later. Anyway. <laughs> Has anybody got anything else while we're here? If not, short and sweet, adjournment. I'll make a motion to adjourn. Is second. there a second? Second. All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried.